What's up guys, Jay from Thundercat Loft, Cliffwood, New Jersey, quick video update. Uh, I came out here at 6 a.m. this morning, packed up all my birds. Um, these are all of Jerry's birds. My birds are still out. Um, all of Jerry's birds are pretty much colors, so they're pretty easy to identify. Um, and uh, anything with a lime green band is a late hatch. I packed up a bunch too. In here, half Jerry's, half of late hatches. Good amount of birds in here, guys. Um, this is all extra birds I did not anticipate. Besides the one, two, three whites that I'm breeding for my white dove. And this uh, Chico uh, owl, German owl looking bird. Uh, those are those are mine. But everything else, you know, I didn't anticipate having in here. Uh, God, I don't know how many birds are in here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 15 in there, probably another 15 out. So another extra 30 birds that I did not anticipate. I did probably anticipate having late hatches and I was like, maybe I'll fly them, maybe I won't, maybe somebody will take them. And, um, you know, I did give away about eight late hatches. So, you know, it's not the worst, but um, Jerry's birds are definitely a lot more work, but We'll see how it goes. In any case, um, I'm doing a video because this morning I let my birds out and I, they've already been out to the one mile. They've been out a quarter mile once, half a mile twice. They've been locked up for two weeks now because of the you know, last two weeks ago was a Canadian fire. And then, yeah, you know, this week it's been raining um, and I pulled flights. Um, not this past weekend but the previous i i not pulled i cut the flights two weeks ago uh, so less than two weeks ago about two inches off the ninth and tenth flight so um i was a little nervous about flying them uh, i spoke with silvio he said i did it don't worry about it i spoke with my friend from patty loft he said i wouldn't worry about it i would fly them they'll be all right uh, you know he's had cases where birds come home from a race and they're missing, you know, plenty. So, um, and I'm not going out far. I'm only planning on trying to get them out to, you know, even what Silvio recommends, 20 miles. Uh, I think that's pretty smart. You know, you gotta get these birds, you know, brain working and, and, and homing, you know, instincts down before you can lock them up for a month. Uh, otherwise they might get uh, lazy or dumb or, I'm not sure if that's even true, but, um, you can at least get them going and then once you pick back up after vaccinating and pulling flights, they'll be good. So in any case, I had them out down the road two, two times to a mile. I said, you know what? I had them locked up for a little over or a little over a week, close to two weeks. Why don't I take them out a mile and a half today? Just get a little extra today. And I think it was a mistake because today the birds went out of the trap. I mean, excuse me, they went out of the basket and they just, they just scattered the whole sky. They didn't flock up. It was complete chaos. I'm not sure what, what happened, why they did this. Um, and even now, you know, no one really trapped. I think I had one bird trap and everyone's up on the house. Um, and I'm, they're all missing. Every bird is missing right now. Uh, it's probably been about 10, 15 minutes and I have seven on the roof and I released 50. So uh, today is gonna be the day guys that, uh, you know, we're gonna see what happens. Uh, I can't imagine losing 50 birds from a mile and a half away if I do, shame on me, because that is just, uh, you know, it can't be the bird's fault because the bird shouldn't have any problem coming home from a mile and a half. Um, it's definitely poor management, poor decision-making. So I don't know what's going on, uh, why that would happen. If anybody has any input, you can see my birds up here. If anybody has any input of why, uh, why they, I guess, because I had them locked up for two weeks. I don't know. Um, over here, guys, um, I have 
three new birds. Um, a fellow friend of my father-in-law who had passed away, who I inherited pigeons from. Uh, my fellow, a fellow friend of his had three pigeons of my father-in-law's direct from him. They were friends. Uh, they used to trade birds and uh, these are out of his best, out of my father-in-law's best birds. Uh, he got these as young birds. They are 2013, I believe. So they're 10 years old. Um, so they've been around a long time. So if this guy kept them for a long time, they must be, they must be something. Um, they are some big birds, I will tell you that. But I know my father-in-law kept big birds. Uh, this bird grew so big right here, this cock, that the band had to be cut off because it was cutting off circulation to the leg. Uh, and you can even see this guy here. The band is so tight around his foot. But, um, and he's got a nice big waddle on him, old school pigeon. Um, and there's one hen and she's a 2013 as well. She looks beautiful. Um, she's a little bit smaller, just a little, just a tad, but they all have that strong back, one pintail, beautiful eye, um, you know, beautiful form. They all handle well for 13s, you know, they don't, none of them are really keely. They're all like, you know, they all feel good. But um, I, the only caution I have now is getting them to breed. Um, I wanna get that hen on a cock, preferably a smaller one. And I wanna get the two cocks on hens, preferably smaller ones. My plan right now, I'm thinking, I have um, two hens <coughs> bred out of 24, which is original from my father-in-law. And um, they are both, uh, you know, proven breeders. So if I put them with these guys and if they give me eggs, you know, I'll be very, very happy because they're both, both of those hens are, are on the smaller side and these guys are on the bigger side. So, and they're all 100% <clears throat> Mario Tech Sarah Burtz. For whatever that means, guys. You know, everyone buys pigeons and get pigeons from everywhere. You know, my birds are all from different strains and different places. So, in any case, guys, that's it. That's my video. And uh, I'll keep you updated on what's happening and what happens with my birds.